Hi, welcome, and I hope you're doing well. Here I have the MacBook Pro 16 inch, and the year model is 2019. As you can see here, it shows you that the processor is 2.3 gigahertz, 8 core Intel i9. So this model, the 2019 model, does not run on M1. Uh, it is still running with the Intel CPU processor. It has the memory 16 gigabyte DDR4, and this 16 gigs is built in. You can't upgrade to 32 or you can't downgrade. It's pre-built onto the motherboard. The graphics card is running on an Intel UHD graphics 630, and I believe they do have a separate graphics card. Let's take a look here on the left side. So we go to the graphic display. As you can see, the Intel is the pre-built for the uh, graphics. It also comes with the third, um, sorry, it also comes with the external graphics card, which is the AMD Radeon Pro 5500M for mobile. All right, so it does have the GPU that built in under PCIe. Uh, this is the built-in Intel for the CPU. All right, let me show you the storage capacity. Right here, it runs on the one terabyte SSD drive. And this SSD drive is built onto the motherboard. So it's not like the external uh, M.2 drive that you can replace it. Uh, this is all pre-built onto the motherboard. So it's non-upgradable and non-replaceable. All right, so I would like to show you the um, speed test on this one. So let me bring this one up, okay? And let me kind of close this one down. And I like to put this one at the bottom as well, or close this. All right, so here I have the um, this speed test, and this is designed by Black Magic, and you can download it on the Apple App Store. You just got to look for the Black Magic this speed test. All right, so let me go ahead and run it. And this one I'll be running internal build. This is running the one terabyte M.2 SSD drive that comes with the computer. So this is a pre-built, uh, I mean, this is a built-in hard drive, okay? So as you can see, the result is running about 25 to 2800 megabyte per second for write and about 25 to about 2800 for read. So it's keep running until we press the stop button. Um, so right now it shows me that's about like 25 to 2800 read and write. Okay, so I'm gonna stop the process and let me go ahead and close this. I'd like to share with you about the files here. So I have a, a folder here that contains mixture of files, like videos, pictures, documents, and they are right about 100 gigabytes. Let's go ahead and take a look at the file size. As you can see here, it shows you that it has about 839 items in the folder and it contains about 100.02 gigabytes. So I'll, I'll round it up to about 100 gigabytes of data. Now, let me do a copy and paste. So we're gonna make a duplicate and you can see how fast the internal hard drive to do the copy. You can't even see that the pop-up window that shows you the, uh, the, the time of the transfer. Within 100 gigabytes, it would only take less than two seconds to transfer the entire uh, 100 gigabytes internally uh, using the same uh, M.2 uh, SSD drive built in on the computer. Let's, let's try to run again on 200 gigabytes, okay? So we're gonna duplicate this. Uh, 200 gigabytes. And you can see that the window pop up just for like two seconds and it went away. So we just have copied so far. So far we just have done a multiple copy of 400 gigabytes total in just less than few seconds. That is how fast the, uh, the, the hard drive is, uh, the, the built-in ones, okay? So that is very impressive. I'm very happy with the result. So if you're gonna happen to buy a computer, 
uh, the MacBook and I highly recommend you to buy the hard drive that is larger capacity okay get the one that is like 512 or 1 terabyte because like I said the hard drive is not upgradable it's not downgradable and it's built in so whatever you buy on a computer that's what you get if you buy too small when you have to use the external, dr external drive like this so this is the external drive uh, this is a SSD drive right so if you buy the built-in one on a smaller scale then you don't have enough space to store your data or if you do video editing or whatnot then you have to buy the external drive when you buy the external drive the read and write speed is not as fast as the built-in one okay so let me run a test on this as well at least you get to see what am I talking about alright so this is the Samsung T7 and I'll show you the box here it's a brand new box I just opened it and I like to run some tests and show it to you how fast when you use the external drive on this this sort of uh, situation here okay so I already plugged in let's go ahead and plug it in I mean I already formatted the uh, hard drive to um, what we call the uh, Mac journal so let's take a look here Samsung get info and as you can see that the Mac OS extended journal is already formatted for Mac use uh, internally I have used about 100 gigabytes it is the same file so as you can see that the internal Samsung file is the same folder that I have for this 100 gigabyte mix files okay so let's just say that I would like to transfer this 100 gigabytes mix file into my laptop okay let me go ahead and rename this and let me go ahead and transfer the file from the Samsung to the laptop as you can see that this is the same 100 gigabyte mix files it is taking about two minutes to transfer the file and you can see this pop-up window that shows about two minutes to do that where earlier it only took like one second you, you can't even see the window pop up so that is how fast the in internal built-in uh, hard drive is when you do the transfer okay so like I said you try to buy uh, the the largest hard drive you, you, you can on the on the computer so that you'll be using at the at the full speed but if you buy an external hard drive like even this is an SSD drive an external drive uh, running on a USB-C uh, you are still not getting the, the performance as you can see it's running about uh, takes about two minutes to, to, to do the transfer alright so once the transfer is done what I'll do next I'll run the uh, disk speed test and I'll show it to you and how f how much the different is okay so it's vice versa it's vice versa uh, you copy that the folder from the uh, Samsung drive to the laptop or the laptop to the Samsung drive it's the same about two minutes to copy one 100 gigabytes alright so the the transfer is done and as you can see it took about two minutes to do that now what I like to do is let me run the disk speed test and I click on the gear select the target drive target drive I'll be selecting is the Samsung okay and I click open so let me run the test and show you the result so the write speed is rack right about 800 megabytes per second and the read speed is about 900 megabyte per second so if you look at the description on the box it does say something like up to 1000 megabytes per second see if you can focus here so it says up to 1000 megabyte per second for write and up to 1000 megabyte uh, 1050 megabyte for the read speed okay 
So as you can see, the average score on the right is about 845 and the read is about 914. So you can see that it's actually less than half the speed to do the transfer. Yeah, so I highly recommend, you know, to buy the built-in uh, MacBook or your, M um, or your iMac that itself has a large capacity uh, for the storage. If you buy the small one, then you have to end up using the external drive and the external drive, the read and write speed is not as fast as the built built-in. Alright, so I hope that this tutorial, not a tutorial, but I hope that this video helps uh, show you the uh, test result on the read and write speed. And um, if you have any questions, just comment below. I look forward to uh, answer your questions. And thank you again for watching. Please take care now. Bye-bye.